Hey everyone, Lauren Simons here, and I'm gonna walk you through some of the exposure assistant tools of the EOS C700. There are three main tools we're gonna to talk about in this video, the waveform, false color, and zebras. First up is the waveform. Now, there's nothing special about this waveform on face value until you dive into the menus and see some of the really great options it has. So, head into the menus. All of our exposure assist tool options will be under the assist function submenu. The first two are output options that allow us to configure on which video feeds the waveform will be displayed. You can set these up here. However, I recommend using a dedicated quick button to trigger the waveform on different ports, something that I'm going to show you in a minute. Let's look at the third submenu here called Type. Here we can choose from six different waveform types to display. We can display our traditional line waveform or a line and spot waveform where a red box is shown in the center of our image and whatever pixels fall within that red box will actually show up as red on the waveform. Very handy for exposure readings off of a middle gray card. There is also a select line mode, which allows us, for instance, to select, isolate, and monitor one of the 2,160 vertical lines of pixels when shooting 4K. This is great for if you're trying to get an even exposure across a chart and want to monitor one pixel length of gray. If select line is engaged, then you define which vertical line to monitor under the select line, one menu back. Heading back, there's a field display for those more comfortable with that, as well as an RGB or YPBPR scope. In all the different types of scopes, we also have the ability to magnify or change the amplification ratio of the scope. This is a 2x gain, giving us half the reduced range, but a greater ability to decipher subtle exposure differences within that range. Beneath the gain option, we can choose where our force starts by selecting the Y position. To trigger the waveform, you can hit the waveform monitor button on the camera. This will send the waveform out of all the selected terminals. If you only want this button to trigger the waveform on, say, the EVF, you could reassign this button very quickly by holding the menu and tapping the button. Now you can quickly assign this button to any of the functions you want. And here, I want to send just the waveform monitor out of video. It's important to note, the waveform is reading the image pre-LUT. So while shooting log, if you turn on a LUT, the waveform is still showing you the luminance values of what is being captured without the LUT applied. Next is something I'm sure you'll love, and that's false color. False color shows us a similar information as the waveform, but in terms of stops related to middle gray. You'll want to familiarize yourself with the color to exposure relationship by studying the false color index accessible under the false color menu. You'll see above the index, we also have the ability to choose over which taps the false color is sent, just like the waveform. Finally, we have zebras, the tried and true exposure tool for both broadcasters and filmmakers alike. Checking out their menus, we see our standard output options, one of which must be selected on to change the following setting. Then we can choose between three different zebra settings. Do we want to just see zebra one, which is a plus or minus five margin of zero through 95, or zebra two, which will display zebras at the exposure value you select and above. Additionally, you can choose to display both zebra one and zebra two, with zebra one being represented by backward stripes and zebra two by forward stripes. Remember, these tools are here to help you execute your creative vision as precisely as possible. Use these tools in combination to help you acquire ideal exposure under any circumstances. As always, if you have any questions, we're always available at 1855 Cineos.